What you're going to see here is a demonstration of a Netflix version 2.0 user interface built by us using an architecture in Qt called Hybrid. This is using HTML for the user interface and a native library to do all the performance sensitive stuff as well as all transactions talking to the Netflix servers. So this is all coming live off of Netflix servers. In the version 2 interface you can not only consume movies that you have selected on your web browser, you can also access recommendations that are personalized based on your preferences from the Netflix service. So these are all recommendations for this account profile coming in from Netflix. This is running with fairly uh, standard commercial grade performance, which is quite surprising because typically uh, hybrid architectures that use HTML are supposed to be uh, uh, usually requiring a high spec board. But in this case, we're using a mass market hardware. This is a Sigma Designs 8654 board that is a MIPS architecture running at 500 megahertz and it has 256 megabytes of RAM. So all these pictures, uh, the HTML content uh, are definitely fitting within that space. So now I'm going to navigate down into the user interface. You can, you can do all the things that you can normally do on the Netflix, uh, over the Netflix streaming client. You can scroll across from within the content. I can scroll with the content in view. So let's look at some TV shows. Uh, you can choose a different episode. This is the different episodes uh, you can play. Again, this is streaming directly from the Netflix server, so it's dependent on the network conditions. But as you can see, the quality once it starts streaming is pretty good. I think in this case we are looking at some 720p HD content. You can pause and play as well as go to the point in this movie that you want to play from. This is called trick play and this is one of the, uh, no puns intended, the tricky, trickiest feature that we implemented. Uh, as you can see, it has very good performance in getting these thumbnails from the Netflix service and displaying them. Uh, you can seek through the thumbnails or you can uh, go at single speed, double speed, or triple speed. And as you can see, you can start playing there uh, and switch between the hybrid application context and the video context pretty easily. Some of the uh, key features here that enable this performance is Qt support for DirectFB hardware acceleration, which is the API supported on this Sigma Designs board. If it was an OpenGL backend on a different board, uh, we could support that as well. Uh, so all these pictures, all these posters are actually uh, stored in video memory and rendered in video memory.